Hello, I'm Anthony, and this is Bad Idea Metals. Um, I'm excited to try something new. Now, I have to admit, I am brand new at what I'm attempting today. Um, I am a computer science guy. I've, I've been programming for years. Uh, I have taken some digital circuits courses in, at the university, but to be honest, um, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to electronics. But I saw something recently that uh, intrigued me, and I'd like to give it a try. So while on YouTube, a recommended video popped up saying, hey, here is a free energy device you can make. And uh, I was really intrigued by it. Um, having looked into these in the past, I know that they don't really work. I know that free energy devices are more uh, clickbait and more a uh, scam than anything else but this one actually looked like it's possibly legit so I watched the video thought it was pretty interesting and I figured I'd give it a try after all most of what I saw in the video I have in the scrap behind me so I figured I'd give it a try now I don't think this is really gonna work most of the reason isn't that the the plans are flawed it's more that I don't know what I'm doing so I'm gonna give it a try anyway, and I would love your help to figure out how I can get better results if this doesn't go well, okay? So let's go ahead and start pulling things apart and trying to build this impossible free energy machine. So as we get into this, please don't judge me too harshly. I'm sure I'll get blasted in the comments for my, my inexperience, and I welcome it. However, if you're gonna blast me in those comments, please give me help. Give me criticisms that will actually help me learn so I can improve the designs and actually do better. All right, so let's go ahead and pull things apart and try the impossible. What we're going to need is our copper wire. I hope to get that out of here. Nice rusty old transformer there. We're going to need our transfer wires to get the power through. We're gonna use this old power supply for that. We're gonna need the rotor or the fins. So we'll use these PVC for that. We need some magnets. We're gonna pull those out of here. The plans call for a motor. We'll pull the, the small motor out of here. They also have a, a little copper band As you can see, a lot of my materials are kind of beat up a bit. Not the most precise cutting on the PVC. I did get the transformer open just fine and that copper looks okay, but man, that stuff looks old. And the magnets are separated from each other right now so that they don't stick. Let's go ahead and assemble what we've got and then we'll worry about wiring it up later.
So that didn't work. Um, there's two reasons why that didn't work. One reason, uh, definitely it's my fault. I don't know exactly what I'm doing and I'd love any help to try to learn how to make this even remotely possible. But the other reason why it didn't work is maybe it just will never work because of what it is. Um, I'm pretty sure that the coil that I'd set up could at least start making some DC current. Um, my voltmeter didn't register anything at all. When I plugged it in to do resistance to see, there was no resistance. There was no, there, it, didn't, it didn't register anything. So I guess there could be some sort of a short in the, in the copper, but I don't, it's so thick. That copper was, I couldn't believe the copper had it, had a short. Uh, it could be that the magnets aren't high powered enough. Um, hard drive magnets are pretty strong neodymium magnets, so I don't imagine that that's necessarily it either. I thought maybe it's the gap between the magnets and the coil, but even, even that gap, that didn't seem like that was that far away. Um, it could be though. So all around, it's a failure um, from the concept to the engineering, to the engineer, to the final product. So give me ideas on how to fix this. Um, again, I hope everybody's a little bit friendly on the comments and don't just blast me saying, you don't know what you're doing because I can tell you right now, I don't know what I'm doing. I'd love constructive feedback. Please help me out. And uh, this is something that I'd like to get fixed because I have, I've always liked wind turbines and I would love to figure out how to make one. Um, but if I can't even get a single DC magnet motor working, a wind turbine's not gonna do it either. So um, please coach me, guide me, I'd love to learn. Hopefully this was uh, somewhat entertaining and maybe a little educational to all you out there. Um, I look forward to doing more projects like this uh, as, as I get more comfortable with general electronics and circuit building. Um, see, this channel isn't all destruction and melting. I also would like to get into some battery making. Um, with all the laptops that I process, I get all those 18650 battery packs. Uh, I would love to, to start making um, uh, one or two kilowatt battery packs. Uh, maybe I could start using those out here as an alternate power source to my to my toaster oven and all the other things that I run out here. So anyway, so that's what I'm trying to do and why I'm trying to do it. Please like and subscribe and uh, you'll get to see some of the other crazy things I choose to do out here. It is starting to warm up back here. So hopefully if, uh, if things continue to warm up, we'll start getting into making our own nitric and we're gonna start getting into um, refining the gold fingers and, and some of those those pins that I've been pulling off with that toaster oven. So keep tuning in. We're getting to the good stuff. Soon it will be spring, and we'll have uh, we'll have the weather to help us do some of our our reactions. So until next time, thanks for watching. Good night.